Howdy again, it's Mr. Pete, your YouTube shop teacher. Welcome back to Studio B. You know, in a lot of my videos, I mention patent drawings or I show a few patent drawings at, at the end if they pertain to what I'm talking about in the video. And I have always enjoyed mechanical drawings, I guess CAD drawings too, but I particularly like patent drawings or patent design drawings. And that's why I show those. Now, there wasn't ever much interest in those, I don't believe. But, nevertheless, my wife and I were in Wisconsin and oh, it must have been about May or June of 2023. And we're in an antique mall, you know, that has all the little booths with different themes and so on. So I'm just browsing around looking for steam engines. And my wife called me over and said, you got to see this. So, she must know I like patent drawings. I don't know how she did. But, there was an entire booth devoted to patent drawings, and I'm going to show you a lot of pictures of those. And uh, they were, of course, printed on a quality paper suitable for framing. Some were already framed. So I found that very interesting. That's why I took just a little bit of footage, this is a very short video, and a bunch of stills. So there is no voice with it, but I'll do a voiceover if I can. But first of all, let me show you and talk a little bit about the Mac Bulldog. About two or three years ago, Chase Fisher from Louisiana sent this Mac Bulldog to me. And I did make a, uh, a base for it. And there are two videos for that. I'll flash that on the screen here momentarily if you haven't seen those or would want to watch it. But I, I always liked the Mac Bulldog. But when I was in the, uh, and you know, I couldn't find the patent, even though the patent number is right here, that is incorrect. Some other patent shows up. You know, I've talked over the years, when I, you know, sometimes they'll say patent pending or patent applied for, and I'm thinking, yeah, I bet they didn't. And there's probably no law that would keep them from saying, that. well, there's no laws here anyway, so whatever you want to do, you do. But anyway, I... When I made that video two years ago, I really wanted to show the patent drawing because I had the number. But it didn't work then, and I, tried, I just tried it now, and it still doesn't work. But in that antique booth, I ran across the patent drawing for this. And so I got a couple of pictures of that, so I'll put one of those on the screen right now. And then right after that, we'll get into the footage that I have. Not not a whole lot, but isn't that design great? And this is die cast quite heavy. Zinc. It's zinc. Now if they even use the Bulldog, which I don't think they do, it would be made out of plastic, wouldn't it? That's a hood ornament. I guess I didn't say that. If you were interested and have not already seen it, tips number 666 is all about building a base for this Mac truck bulldog. That's about a two-year-old video. Okay, here I am at the antique mall, and we have several displayed framed patents here. And of all things, there's the Mustang patent, design patent, actually. Beautiful pictures handcuffs, just about any category that you can think of. Fire hydrant, and then they're in uh, record bins here, just like the old M&M record shop. Dentist chair, fire hat, fireman's hat, golf tee. Why would you patent a golf tee? Beautiful drill press. Road roller. Microscope. Cathode ray tube. I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Stand by for a few still pictures. Thanks for watching. See you next time.